So this is what my room is looking like right now. And I wanna build a headboard right there. I've already measured the height that I want and the width. The width is going to be the same width as the bed itself. So I'm gonna follow a few videos today, including Yodu Vish Essential and this other girl. I'm gonna show you guys which videos I'm, I'll be following. Ignore the cup, but yeah. So basically the width of the headboard is going to be 59 inches wide and it's going to be 33 inches high. So first I'm making sure I measure my width and my height on the floor. So I just felt like it was going to be easier so that when I'm like cutting the cardboard to size, I won't have to like be, you know, going back and forth with the tape measurement. So actually having the mark on the floor did make it easier. So anyway, so here I am just cutting the cardboard to size. I have a large cardboard and also a kind of like a medium size cardboard box as well and I'm also going to attach a foam board to the back of this later as well and you also see me using my leveler to make sure I have a straight line I just want to I wanted to make sure I have a more precise cut as possible you know what I mean and I also went ahead and you know measured when I was done and taped it together with packing tape and I added so much tape to this to make sure it's sturdy I also added Elmer's glue in the middle of the box as well to kind of glue it together I wouldn't recommend using Elmer's glue because it's too wet for the cardboard like by the time it was time for me to actually start doing the tufting it was still wet so it actually stopped some of the um tufting that i was doing with the stapler um it stopped it from actually stapling to the cardboard do you know what i mean so now here i am adding the foam board to the back of the cardboard box as well for that extra sturdiness and also as a way for me to also be able to hang it up you know stick it to the wall i'll use double-sided tape to attach the foam board and also elmer's glue once again i would recommend elmer's glue Glue. I recommend a fast drying glue. So here I'm just sticking it to the board. The videos that I watched, a lot of them used just cardboard boxes and just applied a large layer of cardboard box over the um, cardboard boxes that they've cut to size. But I decided to have foam board, like I think it was this girl, Yodovich Essentials YouTube channel that actually did that. I'm gonna put links of the two videos that I kind of use as reference for this DIY. Also make sure I stick it up the foam board to the cardboard boxes as well. BT dubs, I added the foam board this way so that way I can have a more even proportion distribution or whatever of the card of the foam board at the back of the cardboard box. I don't know how to explain it. I didn't want to put the foam boards together. I wanted to kind of separate it so it can have an even weight distribution. I honestly, I'm sure you get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Face one is complete. Ah, what did I step on? Okay. This is it. It's still a bit bendy in the middle here. So I'm, I'm still gonna put more tape here so it stops from being too bendy or maybe it needs extra cardboard support here. So we'll see. Actually, no, I'll just leave it like this. It's quite sturdy, so that's really cool. So this is gonna be the back. It is weighted. And this is gonna be where we lay our fabric, foam, batting, everything. I don't know, anyway. Now, <laughs> I, where's my laptop? I'm gonna play the video that I am following now. <laughs> My cousin's parents are on their way soon, so I need to hurry up and tidy this place. <laughs> okay, the way I want to do this, I don't want to poke a hole through the cardboard. I just want to like staple whatever I'm laying on it on the cardboard. So the person that did that is Yodovich. Yodov, 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 Yodov okay. Of the boards that I would like to use to make the headboard. So I'm going to be adding boxes with different cutouts. I did that. Okay, so batting. I would glue the particle boards on the cardboard. And then after that, glue on foam on the boards. And then make points on the foam that are 8 inches apart. And I'll use a pair of scissors to make... Okay, so we'll put the foam first. <sighs> Alright. <laughs> so I bought foams. I bought two foam. Actually, it's called mattress pad. I found that it's actually cheaper and a lot of people say they use that instead. I don't know this camera angle, but we're going to stick with it. So I actually bought two. This is it open. So I bought a single size and um, I'm going to double it. So it's like more cushiony because I see a lot of people say that the more thick the foam is, the more tufting effect you get. And this foam is, it foam is about one inch. So I went ahead and measured the mattress pad to the cardboard and I cut to size and also did, repeated the same step for the second mattress pad.
don't ask me what i was doing here <laughs> to glue the mattress pad to the cardboard i'm using adhesive spray and i sprayed a generous amount on the cardboard and i also went ahead and added elmer's glue as well once again i wouldn't recommend you using elmer's glue because it's not fast drying i recommend a more fast drying glue and i also attempted to use a double-sided tape on the mattress pad like a ninny it did not work obviously but i still left it there you know what we never know you know and i went ahead and i sprayed the adhesive spray on the rough side of the mattress pad after actually applying the smooth side of the mattress pad on the cardboard first apply the spray on the rough side and then glue the other mattress pad on top of it with the rough side kissing because it is better to do the tufting on the smooth side right than the rough side i also use elmer's glue here too once again i wouldn't recommend elmer's glue because it is not fast drying okay and when i was spraying the adhesive i made sure i got the crevices of the mattress so that way it can really like glue to it and i laid on it to kind of apply my whole body weight on it honey because that's where it's for okay <laughs> I look so crazy. <laughs> I look funny here anyway. And I'm also going to trim that other excess bit later on as well. All right. And the tufting begins. This was almost difficult, but I persevered. What I'm basically explaining here is the fact that I made sure I measured eight inches horizontally, you know, from the outside, eight inches apart and four inches vertically from the top to the bottom. And I also made sure I had six inches diagonally. As long as I can get a perfect diamond shape, that's how I know that I have my tufting pattern. I guess that you can call this the diamond tuft. I don't know. The videos I watched, some of the videos were clearer than others. So I just had to end up winging most of this kind of pattern drawing at the end of the day. I went ahead and I added my batting, which is actually called wadding or wadling. I'm going to put the names down below, whatever. I also made sure I split the wadding into two because it was basically two inches thick and I only needed it to be like half an inch thick. So I added this on top of the mattress pad. I learned that if you have this in between the mattress pad and the fabric for the tufting, it makes it easier for the fabric to kind of grab onto the mattress pad. I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but anyway, I made sure I cut it to size to fit the mattress pad. I went ahead and I added holes on the on each point of that diamond shape and I used scissors doing this. There are other better ways to do this, but I didn't have the better means to do it. So I had to just wing it and use scissors. <laughs> Believe it or not, we're talking about the fact that I was still single. I'm not married yet. I don't have kids. This is what you get from your African parents, auntie and uncle, or whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> it was funny. I just, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, uh, conversations, honestly. Anyway, I went ahead and I stapled the polyester batting or wadding to the cardboard to keep it secure. This was after I already poked a hole through the batting to make sure I touch the hole that I made on the foam itself. I also made sure I made the hole directly through the mattress pad until I can feel the foam and I removed all the foams out of that hole. <laughs> the amount of time I've set hole right now, honestly, I cannot. <laughs> oh, all right, the second part of the tufting begins. Okay, for the fabric, I actually in total for this project, I used three and a half meters of fabric. Okay, and the fabric that I bought from Spotlight, it looks to have a little bit of a, like a silver reflex or whatnot to it, like a silver pattern, and it kind of made it look a little bit more glamorous or whatever, a little bit out of my comfort zone because I felt like it looks a little bit girly, but I'm getting used to it. Okay, but anyway, to get started, I basically felt for the hole that I already made on the bedding and also the mattress pad, and I used my staple gun to staple the fabric down onto the card. Board. Now, this was a bit difficult at times, especially in those areas where the Elmer glue was still drying. The staple didn't want to attach to the cardboard because the cardboard was wet. Now, you're going to see later, later on in this video that I actually ended up using needle and thread instead to poke a hole through the cardboard and hold the fabric down. Even though I mentioned earlier, earlier that I didn't want to, but that's actually what worked better for this. So, you notice that as you continue to, you know, staple the fabric down onto the cardboard, you're going to start seeing your tough in pattern oh my god wow look at that is that sweat to my armpit this was tedious this was tedious but it was worth it okay anyway let's keep going okay. are you all right are you okay <laughs> you know, yes. yeah <laughs> yeah 
Zoe's so cute, isn't she? Anyway, I continued to do this. This also took a long time and I felt like it was a bit of a waste of time because I still ended up using needle and thread, but it actually helped me to guide where the needle and thread was gonna go. Do you know what I mean? So now that it was kind of basically almost done, also I thought with the tufting part, I went ahead and I stapled the edge or you know the excess fabric at the back. And for the top of the headboard, I went ahead and I kind of did a, like, like a fold over me method. I don't know why I talked so fast just then. I went ahead and did a fold over method before I actually stapled it to the back. So that way you can have that kind of fold at the top. All the way from Nigeria to help. Yes. <laughs> for the rest of the side i just kind of stapled and made sure i hold it held it tight and my uncle kind of helped me here as well because my hand was cramping like crazy <laughs> but the big chunk is done thank you baby Woo yeah, 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 yeah. as you can see it, it was still looking rough and it's still looking a bit rough because a lot of the staples actually came out mostly because of the fact that the carpet was still a little bit wet and also because of the fact that the staple gun i was using i feel like it wasn't strong enough for this kind of job do you know what i mean so i ended up using the needle thread that i mentioned to you guys earlier and this worked so much better even though this took all night i didn't finish this whole project until around 2 a.m or 3 or so the next morning but it was so worth it and for another two days after i was done my whole body was sore my fingers were sore my butt cheek was sore i don't know why my butt cheek was sore i guess perhaps i was clenching so hard while i was using the staple gun i have no idea anyway <laughs> just warning you okay but anyway i just basically went ahead and fed the needle through the cardboard this was a bit hard and the needle i'm using was quite strong as well and a bit longer it was actually quite curved but by the end i was done the, the curved needle turned to straight honey okay so i fed it through the cardboard and found the hole at the top as well and then you know i did a few passes okay i literally did a lot of passes to make sure it's more secured i didn't really cut the thread as you can see at the back and it still looks a bit neat as well and when it's done look at this oh look at this look look at this ah, ah, look at this man i cannot i still had it more tufting in some areas here where you can see some diamond shape is missing and for a bit of detail i added thumbtacks these are actually thumbtacks 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 so i added about two to three in each hole using hot glue gun and this just added a lot more like a, a nice detail to the headboard yes honey yes so for the head of my bed i had some stuffing and also fabric as well and i basically nailed this into place okay so it's a bit more cushiony when i'm leaning against it because the headboard is going behind it so for the sides i wanted a bit of leg on each side so i basically combined cardboard boxes you know cut to size that i want it's about three inches in width and about 55 or 59 inches high i really can't remember i'll put the right dimensions down below so i basically combined cardboard boxes used spray adhesive and added foam and also added batting step put it together also added fabric as well and i ran out of fabric so i went back to the store the next day got more fabric to cover the back i was trying to figure out how to attach this leg to the headboard itself I used hot glue gun, it did not work. I tried to sew it together, it did not work. So I basically ended up just tacking it to the wall next to the headboard. So it looks like it's attached to the headboard, but it's not. And that is it. Whew. This was a lot of work, but it was fun. And I still can't believe I made this. Every time I end up enter my room, I'm like, girl, you did that. Oh, look at that go detail from afar. Oh, yes, baby. Anyway, <laughs> that is it, babes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below. Would you try out this kind of DIY? Do you have time for it? Thanks for watching, babes. As always, whatever done to love yourself. And by God's grace, I pray I see you in my very next video. Thank you, honey. Bye. <laughs>